Cody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Aiden? Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No, of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known felon, now would it? How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. Hmm. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. <laughs> what I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> on the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high-security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait.
Try the polite approach. Gets them every time. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Authorization? God, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> maybe we can go without authorization this time. I mean, maybe we can just come to some kind of an arrangement. I'm sorry. Kick me out. Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in... I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Okay, so it didn't get him this time. What next? I'm working on it. I was afraid you'd say that. Excuse me. You can't wait in here. Hey, we don't know what room she's in. I'll find out. Found her. Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. Oh. 
know it's me. Judy. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> Leave me alone. Stop it. I beg you. Please stop. Don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Go away. Go away. They're here. <laughs> you, you have got to stop torturing me. I need to sleep, you understand? I need my rest. Yes, that's it. I have to get my rest. I can't, I can't stand anymore. I'm at the end of my rope. All these voices in my head, a day and night, it's becoming unbearable. You understand? Unbearable! Take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. Let's go! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I'm on the baby! It's a danger quickly! Get the baby out of here! the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness.
this thing, Ivan. Destroy it now! Mom, my little girl. My little girl. Jody, I missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Sorry, Jody. Powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. Jody, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. 
You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use item. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But I convinced them to wait for a while, watch you from a distance. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Never tell me about my mother. Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you, loved you, tried to protect you as best as I could. Those people pretending to be my parents. The DPA thought you needed a stable emotional environment, a home, loving parents, some semblance of a normal life, whatever would help us study you in the right conditions. Study me? Study me? What was I to you, Nathan? A little lab rat? I was just a girl, for fuck's sakes. I was just a little girl. Oh, you were the link. The link between our world and the infra world. You were everything we ever dreamed of. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? If you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. <laughs> Haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infra-world. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infra world better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infowar. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hainanjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the infraworld. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Now, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infraworld and make sure that no one try to use it against us. 
I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Shove them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're gonna find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the info world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. It's good to see you. Uh, looks like Aiden remembers me. Keep your distance, Ryan. Aiden is even less forgiving than I am. For the mission's sake, try to keep Aiden from killing you. But no promises. For the mission's sake, I'll try and forget what a fucking bastard you are. Jody, I... You know what? Fuck you, Ryan. So you're still angry then? You really think that you can just come back here and pretend like nothing happened? Jody, I... Shh. Don't talk. So you won't have to lie. Right. Well, we're off to a great start.